as we get to all of these images coming in, let me also introduce, it's our absolute privilege to be joined here on India Today by, in fact, Mr. Johan Dietrich, Jan Warner, who's joining us on this broadcast. He was part of the European Space Agency, the 7th ESA Director General. Uh, Mr. Warner, thank you for joining us on India Today. I don't think many of our viewers know about the important role that the ESA, the NASA is also doing in helping us here at ISRO. So first of all, thank you to the European Space Agency. Can you just explain for us uh, exactly how the ESA is also helping in the Chandrayaan-3 mission? So first of all, I would like really to congratulate you to reach the moon and I hope, of course, for a full uh, successful mission. So ESA, the European Space Agency, has a, a worldwide tracking, uh, tracking uh, instruments called ISTRAC. And with that, we helped also ISRO and uh, the, the Chandrayaan-3 to really find its way to the moon and also for the successful landing. And as you mentioned already, also NASA is participating in this mission. And therefore, I believe it's not only a success for India, it's not only for India to be proud of Indian uh, things, but it's also that we from the world, we are looking to India at this time. And we really th think that this mission, uh, Shantayan 3, is a, an achievement for the worldwide cooperation in space. Uh, could you elaborate a, a bit more on that, Mr. Warner? If we see, uh, you know, that successful landing happening in just a few hours from now on the South Pole of the Moon, what does this really mean for the world? What kind of exploration are we talking about? How is a soft landing on the South Pole of the Moon really helping uh, in, you know, space exploration globally? The Moon is something like an archive of the Earth. It most probably it uh, was form formed by an impact of another body with the Earth. And uh, therefore, as the moon has no flowers, no animals, it is something like a museum or an archive of the Earth. And we can use scientific uh, investigations on the surface of the moon to understand better of the Earth. And another thing is, my hope is in several years to create something like a moon village, which is not a settlement of normal people, but it's a research station on the surface of the moon. And for that, we need resources. And the South Pole of the moon has water, as we know, and therefore uh, water can be used, of course, as a drinking medium, but it also can be used to produce hydrogen and oxygen. And therefore, I believe to go close to the South Pole of the Moon is a very important achievement if this is successful. And then uh, the world can use it by cooperating on, in what I call the Moon Village, uh, a research station on the surface of the Moon, beyond all the earthly issues we have between the different countries. So therefore, your mission, the Indian mission, is a very important step forward to co uh, global cooperation. Uh, Mr. Warner, also, uh, when we talk about the South Pole of the Moon, is it trickier to land on the South Pole than in other parts of the lunar surface? And uh, why is it that we've not really seen any soft landings there so far? Yes. If you look your personal, if you look to the Moon during night, what do you see? The Moon, which is uh, the, uh, the side of the Moon, which is directed toward Earth where former uh, missions landed. So, for instance, also a on this side of the moon. The far side of the moon and the poles of the moon are very rough terrain. So it's really difficult to find a nice place to land over there. Um, and therefore it's very difficult. Um, and therefore I cross my fingers for the mission. Uh, and the South Pole of the Moon is also interesting because what we believe is that water is at the South Pole of the Moon in some deep craters. And therefore, I hope really that uh, Chandrayaan uh, and Vikram especially, Vikram can land on the surface and send out also the, uh, the tiny rover to investigate what is happening on the, in the close to the South Pole of the Moon. It's a very interesting location. You know, you join a billion Indians here, Mr. Warner, when you say we really hope that Chandrayaan 3 makes that soft landing on the South Pole of the Moon. Uh, besides space exploration, what really this means for exploring the Moon and identifying all of the resources available on the lunar surface, Mr. Warner, where do you think a successful Chandrayaan 3 mission will really put India in the global space race? So uh, the resources of the moon should not be there to bring them back to Earth. That's not the idea. To use the resources of the moon 
for people and for robots working on the surface of the moon, that's the important point. And uh, ISRO is already during the last years, it's part of the international community of space explorers. And therefore, I believe this Chandrayaan-3 mission and Vikram uh, is an important step also to be part of the global community. And therefore, I believe and I hope that we are talking about space and future beyond all earthly borders. Astronauts already say the Earth is so beautiful and they don't see any border. So let's work together on the surface of the moon and in space without all these uh, problems we have on Earth. My final, final question to you, uh, Mr. Warner, and I know you're in a tearing hurry, but I just have to ask you this. You know, when we see this kind of uh, information that the ESA, NASA are all on board helping ISRO, I can't help but wonder, is there any competition between these organizations in, you know, space exploration? Okay, you see, very clear, competition is a driver for innovation. We know that competition leads us all the day, not only in sports, but in any di dimension. But at the same time, cooperation is an enabler. In cooperation, we can do things together which we cannot do alone. And Chandrayaan 3 is a good example for that. You are cooperating with the Americans, you are cooperating with the Europeans, and maybe with even more in the future. So therefore, Chandrayaan 3 is a good example for cooperation and competition at the same time. Very, very well put, Mr. Warner. I appreciate you taking the time out and joining us here on India Today. Thank you very much once again from all of us here in India to the ESA for all the help and support that you're lending also in tracking Chandrayaan 3 from the very date of its launch.